Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in this video in our Microsoft Fabric series, we're going to be looking at the KQL query set. Um, so let's dive right into the demo. Uh, we'll basically be showing you how to create your first, what is a KQL query set, how to create your first KQL query set and what it can be used for. So to do that, uh, once you open up Fabric, if it looks like this, just hit Synapse Real-Time Analytics. Or if it's open something like this, you can either come to the Real-Time Analytics tab and hit KQL query set, or you can just go to your workspace, hit new, more options, and choose KQL query set. So I'm gonna create a new one. So I'll be like demo query set. All right, so for the purposes of this demo, I've created a KQL DB and loaded some data prior. Um, I have videos which I link to, which show you how to create a KQL DB and also how to uh, load data into it. And I'll link those in the top right hand corner of your screen. If you're not sure about uh, what a KQL DB is, definitely check out that video. But for those who are just want a brief catch up, it's basically like a real time analytics uh, data sync or data storage, where data is stored in sort of like a log format or a JSON format, and it can be quickly traversed um, uh, to perform analytics on it and data, this is mainly for streaming data. So KQL DB is where you can construct tables in s of these uh, streaming data, and you can analyze them using a tool like a KQL query set. So what a KQL query set does is, it gives you access to query uh, your, uh, your real-time analytics tables inside of a KQL DB. So you can see I've got a few tables here, customers, orders, and employees. So to query these tables, you need to know something called KQL, or Custo query language. I have a video playlist coming out, which I'll link to in the top right hand corner of your screen, which will take you from the basics uh, right up to quite an intermediate or professional level of KQL. I'll link to that in the top right hand corner of your screen, so make sure to check it out. Uh, so, but just for the sake of this video and to show you the power capabilities of a uh, KQL query set, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in the tab table uh, name, one of the table names. So let's say for example, customers, right? So I hit customers tab and then I get this pipe. So this pipe is forms the backbone of the KQL language and it allows me to uh, query the data with the different functions available to us in KQL. So suppose I wanna show the first 10 records or if I just wanna show the full table, I just write the table name and do shift enter with the selection on the table name and it gives you the full table, right? And as you can see, there's a lot of, oh, sorry. As you can see, there's a lot of rows. So if I just want a few rows, I can do a pipe space take and specify the number. Suppose I do 10, I'll just get the first 10 rows, right? And take is one of the quick ones. Um, then we have probably, uh, you can do a where. So suppose I want to do where city equal to equal to London. I can hit this a shift and I get uh, all the rows where the city is London. And then I can do a, another pipe to add the next function. So you basically build your query out with these pipe uh, operators, spaces, and then you use the functions. I'll go through the functions in detail in that video. Uh, I can hit count and you can see there are six rows. Similarly, you can start a new table, go to new line and enter a new table name. Orders, take 10, just to show you the structure. As you can see, so I've got my next table here and whenever you're working on a query that gets auto-selected in Fabric, so you can just shift enter and query it right away. Otherwise you, can, you have to select and shift enter or click around in the top. But the power of the uh, KQL query set is imagine you're handling vast swaths of streaming data that's continuously being updated and you want to build a report on top of it based on some uh, like a compound table that you've created with some uh, logic using KQL. So that's the strength. You can create those compound tables built on joins and other fancy uh, aggregations in Custo in KQL using a query. And then based on that final table, you can build a report. So that is the power of the Custo query set. So how do we do that, right? So suppose I wanted to create 
just a join of these two tables, right? So if you look back at the structure in this customer table, we have customers, a customer list, which is sort of like a dimension list. And then we have an orders table, which is sort of like a fact table. And keep in mind in the customer table, we have this custom ID column, which gives us a company name, right? And in orders, which is sort of like a fact table, we just have the order date and among we have the customer ID we don't have any uh, we have individual order rows but we don't really have any um, means to get the company name out from there right so suppose we wanted to link these two right so what we do is we can do an orders since we want to build it on orders the join we can do a join then we do kind equals inner and then we specify the table that we want to join on f dot the column custom id equal to equal to dollar right dot customer id and then the join is built so now when we hit shift enter you can see we get all the rows from our orders table and then at the end we get all the rows from our company table um, customer table as well including the company name so this on this common compound table uh, it's a very simple scenario in the sense but you can build out quite complex logic on it if you wanted to build a report on top of this you just select the table and save the query set first and then build a power bi report So once you hit build power bi report, you get this um, preview page of the uh, modeling environment. And then you have access to your uh, table set. So you can do company name and then do, let's say, order date. So you get a list of all the orders make it and then you can basically build out your report on this using all the tools that you have available to you so that's what the kql query set enables you to do it's basically allows you to build out complex queries on top and test them out on top of your tables that you have in a kql database kql database is a database which stores uh, streaming data or real-time analytics data uh, in a sort of json format so that it can be uh, it's very light and can be traversed quickly um, so yeah that's it for this demo hope you guys um, uh, got a quick understanding of the kql query set so don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share, comment and hit the bell icon and we'll see you guys in the next one.